Today we venture into the mysterious world of demonology, exploring one of its most fascinating figures and Lucifer's most loyal lieutenants, the revered demon Paimon. A name revered and feared in ancient texts, Paimon's lore is rich with mystique and power. Join us as we unravel the secrets of this intriguing entity from historical demonology. The enigmatic Paimon is primarily known from the Lesser Key of Solomon, a grimoire from the 17th century, but his origins likely predate this text. This collection of demonic lore, a cornerstone in occult studies, details the hierarchy and powers of various demons, including Paimon. He stands out as a high-ranking demon, frequently portrayed as one of the kings of hell, commanding 200 legions of demons. He is often portrayed as a man with a regal demeanor, riding a dromedary and accompanied by a host of spirits. Historical illustrations portray him with a crown, signifying his high rank in the demonic hierarchy. The text also describes him as possessing a loud and booming voice, further emphasizing his commanding presence. Paimon stands out for his exceptional loyalty to Lucifer, surpassing the obedience demonstrated by other demon kings mentioned in the Lesser Key of Solomon. His portrayal in different cultures and mythologies varies, but sources state that Paimon was an angel that resided in heaven, either belonging to the Order of Dominions while others say the Order of Cherubim. He was among the angels that was the most captivated by Lucifer's music, giving awareness to the morning star via attempting to match the notes of his instruments with Lucifer's singing. As a result of being captivated by Lucifer's power, beauty and mind, he was unsurprisingly on Lucifer's side during the war in heaven, only to be defeated by the angel Haziel. He was cast down to hell alongside all other rebel angels. He was present at Pandemonium during Lucifer's rally, officially declaring himself as the most loyal servant of Lucifer. Because of his loyalty and overall usefulness to Lucifer, Paimon was elected a king of hell and joined the musical choir of hell that sings Lucifer's glory. Interestingly, Paimon is known for his distinctive etiquette, always appearing with two spirits, Label and Abalam, while also heralding his arrival with the sound of trumpets. His portrayal in different cultures and mythologies varies, yet he consistently holds a position of significant power and knowledge. Much like most other powerful demons, he has his own band of demented satanic worshippers who go to great and unholy lengths to have him manifest in the material realm. Their primary motive for wanting his manifestation in the mortal realm is the belief that he can bestow upon them wealth and knowledge. It is important to remember that interactions with Paimon or any other demonic entities should be approached with the utmost caution and respect. It is not a pursuit for the faint-hearted or the inexperienced, but for those who have dedicated themselves to understanding and interacting with such entities in a knowledgeable and respectful manner. Exploring the enigmatic King Paimon leads us along the obscure pathways of historical lore and mythology. His role as a symbol of wisdom and authority invokes a profound sense of wonder and reverence, urging us to delve deeper into the enigmas of the supernatural domain. If you are captivated by our tale of the mighty demon Paimon and find yourself intrigued by the mystical and enigmatic, don't forget to subscribe and join us for more thrilling explorations into the realms of demonology and mythology.